Well, the kid's got a little minor situation that I need to work through. It's a carpentry challenge. You see this piece of wood here? Well, let me just show you what I've got. So we tore out this window and the window is an arch. Something like this. It's approximately four feet high and I don't remember exactly, but I think about 72 inches wide. Now the only way to get that window out was to tear out this piece of molding. And as you can see, it's on a curve. Whoever did the work, this is a, a fairly typical old timey way of making straight lumber curved by putting notches in the back and that reduces the amount of wood that you're bending. This is approximately a half inch thick. So I need a piece of trim this wide and approximately this thick to go here and here. What I'm thinking, I'm going to mill a piece of pine, straight grain pine, no knots or anything, this thick, maybe just a hair thicker, and then plane it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and form it in a bow like this, okay? And let it dry in that shape. Now I'm going to uh, bend it where it's even more than what this curve requires. See, it'll be a whole lot easier to straighten it back out than it will be to try to bend it more. You follow me? You see what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna cut a piece of, uh, of pine. I haven't measured, that looks to be about three inches. And I'm gonna make it about nine sixteenths before I plane it down. So that's the challenge, that's what I've got to do and that's what I'm gonna do. And Let's before I crank the mill up this morning, I'm gonna do a quick oil change. I've already removed the drain plug, my funnel stuck in here and I believe that's gonna work just fine. I found a number 13 wrench. Let's get this old oil out of here and put in some new stuff. I have not checked the owner's manual and I need to do that. I think this holds quart. I'm not 100% sure on that. This oil is not terrible, but it's not good either. Yeah, it's time for a change. So now that I've got the oil drained out, we'll just drop the plug back in. Snug that up a little bit. Then we'll pour oil all over everything. I'm gonna put a cord in it and then check it. That's perfect. Cut a few logs and then check it again. All right, I need to put a little fuel in it. Check the air filter and we'll be ready to go. Give this a look. I think I'll blow that out, clean that off. all free good guess that's the only thing I'll run in this and probably we all are wise if we do that or that's what they tell me wonder how it sounds I'm guessing it's gonna sound pretty happy I think I can get a good straight grain piece out of this. That's about a half inch thick. This thing's got a bow in it. It's a little over 16 inches at the big end. And I think you can probably see. But I don't see Might be a knot right there, but 
I think I can find some straight grain in it. Let's get on the mill and see what we can do. That pile right there. See how the grain is far apart. But I think it's going to work. That right there, after I take this cut off, it's gonna be six inches high. Then I think I'll flip it up and I'll take, you know, make some four by 12 or something like that.
I think that's at 10 inches. That's at nine inches. So, I'm gonna take two half inch pieces off of that to start with. There, there's my two thin pieces that I need for the window frame. And while they're wet, I believe I can bow them and dry them bowed. thing is they don't need to dry out they need to be wet right now I need to go plant them right now before I get back to this because they only need to be let me see six feet I'd rather have them a foot too long and not long enough, but I think six feet is long enough. need to measure where'd my tape measure go this piece here is two two and nine sixteenths so I need to rip these down two and nine sixteenths We need to bend these. How are we going to do that, Batman? What I'm going to attempt to do, put this ratchet strap on here. And I'm going to attempt to ratchet it up as far as it will go. Which is about right there. And then I think if I pull that, um, that's going to get it. And then I can shorten this next one and put it inside of that one. That's going to work. But what I think I'm going to do, put a screw right here. And then pull that up as far as I feel comfortable bending that. 
like I say, I'd rather have it too much than not enough. And then I can just take this one and make it just a hair shorter and go on down and I can make four of them. That ought to be perfect. Shall see. So that and all the stick right there. And I think that's pretty, pretty doggone close. That's going to work. Let me show you what I got. As you can see, I've got this molded here. Round and it's wet as water, but when it dries, it should be as crooked as it looks. And that's going to help me uh, fit that molding back to that window. Or at least I'm going to try to uh, get back to that sawmill. Well, back onto this log and let's finish milling this thing up. We got an eight by six here. I think it's six inches wide. Do you remember what it is? Six inches wide. All right, so let's go down four inches and that will be a four by six. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, since that's eight inches high, divided by two, so we'll have two four by six beams rocking and rolling, baby. I'm saying. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get this racked up stacked up listen i really appreciate you watching and uh, i appreciate your support and i'll see you in the next one